Hi, my name is Tyler. I'm from Broad Agritech, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to plant a zip grow tower. And more specifically, I'm going to show you how to plant it as fast and as efficiently as possible so you as a grower can maximize your time. So we're gonna talk about two different stages of the planning process. There's the prepping stage and then the actual planning and pulling process. But first, the prepping stage. Right now, my work area has been prepped, which means I have all my towers right next to me ready to go. I have my media, all my wicking strip, my pulling hook, my seedlings, which I've separated out prior to this video, so they're ready to go when we start. So what I wanted to focus on right now is just our workbench because having a good workbench and a good planning service can save you a ton of time and really help you out when you're planning. This workbench is set so it's right at my waist so that way when I'm planning I'm not having to bend over or adjust, everything's readily accessible. It's also weighted. Normally we've had our workbenches either fixed to the wall or in the ground or they're heavy enough so when we're pulling our media they don't slide. This one, since it's been mobile and we have to move around our shop, we've just put a lot of concrete bags on it or quick creek anything will work as long as it's heavy so that way when you're pulling the media into the towers it's not sliding. Now all of our zip door towers have a hole in the back of them and this is so they can be fixed to our workbenches. You can have a screw or a nail or in this case a piece of metal that is fixed to your workbench that will allow that hole to slip over it and what this does is it fixes your tower to your workbench so when you're pulling that media it doesn't come with you or the tower doesn't come with you. This is kind of an additional feature that's really important for a single man planting process. And we'll get into this later, but this is gonna hold our media so we can plant multiple plugs at a time and do one pull. And that's really important when it comes to a single man process and when you're not planting with somebody else. So that pretty much covers it for the prep. Just make sure that you have a good workbench to work on and that all your materials are at hand and readily available. So there's two different ways to plant. There's a single man planting operation and a team planting. Right now, I'm gonna go through what it looks like for one person planting a zip grow tower. We're gonna put our wicking strip in, and we've done other videos on this, and we can link those up for you, so I'll just kinda of cover the basics. But you wanna make sure with this wicking strip is that it's not coming out of the front of the fold, and that you leave this little mohawk on top. And what that's gonna do is when it's sitting in the tower, when the water drips on it, it's gonna be able to catch that water wherever it is in the tower, if it lands in the front or the back, and evenly wick across the tower. So since I've set the wicking strip back, that's the front of our tower. We're gonna to place it between these, uh, what are these, PVC pipes? I think Nate put these in the other weekend. But these are really critical for a single man operation because what we wanna do is be able to place a plug, a plug, a plug, a plug. You wanna plant the entire media strip and then pull it once in. What gets really time consuming is when you plant and pull and plant and pull and plant and pull and that takes up way too much time. So when you're thinking about designing your, your workbench, or if you guys need help designing your workbench, let us know. We might do a DIY tutorial on this, not sure yet. If you feel like it's useful, let us know. But the process goes as follows. We're gonna open up our media and plant our plug. We're gonna open it and plant. And our seedlings I'm keeping just at the top level of this. So our bench probably could be about six inches longer for one more plug, but the process is to plant and to pull once. I'm gonna plant the last one here at the end. So these are seven foot towers we're planting today, and so we're looking at like five plants per insert. If you have a five or a three foot tower, you'll have less. So that's one way to do it if you're working by yourself. Another way, and I don't really prefer this method because I'm not good at it, but I've seen people be successful with it, is that you can take all of your plugs and you can lay them in. And then once you have them all laid, you'll fold your media over, set it, and pull it in. It's important when you do this, when you flip this media over after you've sandwiched all your plugs between it, to keep a firm grasp on it because you don't want your plugs falling out or reorienting themselves. Or reorienting themselves. And then we'll take and we'll sandwich all of our plugs together now, when I flip this, I want to keep a firm grasp on it so none of my plugs fall out. And I'm not too much of a proponent of this method, but it does work. 
So all my plugs stayed, none of them fell out. Cool. So really what you have to do is kind of find a way that works for you, whether it's putting them individually, folding them. If you're working by yourself, try to like eliminate as many variables as you can to make this process as smooth and as easy as possible. So one thing I probably should have mentioned before I started pulling towers that we do recommend that you wear gloves when you're planning. These edges, sometimes they can be pretty sharp, especially if they're brand new towers or we have brand new media and you can cut yourself if you're not careful. So now what we're gonna do is walk you through how a two-man team plants it, which is probably my favorite way to plant Zipro towers because it's faster. The tower gets loaded, media comes out, so let's just pretend this is a newly harvested tower. Come to me. Got wicking strips. So our wicking strips go on just like normal, leaving a little top out there. Now these PVC guides or these rollers that you've probably seen in our other videos aren't as important with a two-man team. And this is why. I can plant and Ruben's gonna pull. And I'm gonna plant. And he'll just keep on pulling the tower as I load it. So we're going to pull that all the way down the bottom. And that's really the second man's job, is to keep pulling the towers as a first person plants them. I got the easy job. And we just keep moving. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope what we showed you helps with your planning process to make it faster or more efficient. If you have any questions, leave us a comment. Check out our blog post on this. Thank you for watching.